On February 23, 2023, UBCO officially launched its 2x2 Special Edition motorbike. For those familiar with the UBCO 2x2, your first thought might be that it's just some new paint and graphics, but that's definitely not all there is to see here. Although the green and electric orange color scheme makes it stand out among other UBCO 2X2S on offer, there are some cool features on this limited edition bike that you might want to know about. While the regular UBCO 2x2 comes with two built-in racks, front and rear, as well as ample handlebar real estate where you can mount the gadgets you deem necessary with ease, the UBCO 2x2 Special Edition comes with some choice carrying options included for the stuff you'll want to bring on your next journey. Both of the included, color-matched bags on the 2x2 Special Edition are weatherproof and detachable. The center tote, which sits directly over where the battery is mounted, just in front of the seat, is a 12-liter case. The rear bag can hold up to 30 liters thanks to its ingenious fold-away expansion panels that can come down to enable transport of larger, flatter items than you might expect on first glance. In other words, if you want to take your laptop with you and not worry that it's going to get wet, UBCO thought about you. While we obviously can't tell you how well the weatherproof bags work from experience, it certainly seems like a great idea. Beyond the two weatherproof and extremely useful looking carrying cases that come standard on the 2x2 Special Edition, this bike also boasts a new Peak Design phone mount, as well as a set of pronghorn straps from Giant Loop to help you strap down anything else that you need to carry with you, and that won't fit in the two totes. Need your backpack, picnic basket, toolbox, or just about anything else that fits? With these straps, as long as you can secure it, you can probably take it along. As you may recall, I had the chance to check out in UBCO 2x2 for a few weeks back in 2022, and there's one other significant change that the company made for the 2x2 Special Edition. The company says that it's redesigned the braking system since the one I rode, so that it now utilizes motorcycle-grade braking pads and more substantial brake levers. I found the brakes on the 2x2 to be adequate for the task at hand last year, if not particularly exciting or impressive, so I've asked for more details about these changes, and will report back if and when I obtain more detailed information. Things that remain the same on the 2x2 Special Edition, as compared to the previous 2x2, remain its 30 mph slash 50 km per hour top speed, I got it up to an indicated 31, but its electronic limiter wouldn't let me go higher, and I also don't think you'd want to go a lot faster with the stock brakes as they were at that time, its 156 pound curb weight, its claimed 75 mile range, its 3.1 kWh battery pack, and its 4-6 to six hour charge time with the included fast charger. Just 1,000 of the 2x2 Special Edition bikes will be made, and they will also be numbered. MSRP on the UBCO website is $6,999, excluding tax.